Well, hello everyone. Welcome to FC United versus Wellington Islands. It feels strange this on a Tuesday night, Alan. I'm, I'm, I'm used to having a Saturday full of things to do, but this time it's a little bit different. Of course, um, Ryland's had the weekend off, hopefully making the most of that time and preparing for today's game. However, unfortunately the lads came down here a little bit later than usual than they would have liked. So, hopefully we've warmed up uh, thoroughly and are ready for today's fixture. we we'll start in four minutes time. Hopefully in four minutes. <laughs> there is only sign of anyone. So yeah, Alan, how are we thinking for today? Um, I reckon we I, I feel I feel a real cheeky little three points in the air. Yeah. Um, it'll be a tough game. Last time FC were quite good on that. You were, you were really good. And obviously, we've heard a lot from the uh, away support. Well, sorry, from the home support from the FC United supporters about like. Um, they're not too confident today in this fixture. But I'll be honest, neither of Ireland's fans. Yeah. Both teams are looking to get a result today. And hopefully, Ireland's going to be the one to, to get the result. But yeah, FC United fans are looking forward to this game considering um, Ireland's league position and also the fourth form back in FC United. Yeah, very true. Near the bottom are the front. Exactly. But a disappointing result against them, Wakington led to you know a lot of frustration around the ground. Three one defeats on Saturday um, where can see beat them. This possession is gonna find Curtis Jones on the edge of the box. McLaughlin now on the left hand side takes the shot. Offside attempt but Luke Pillen unable to punch the ball away in front of the almost captured run the FC United players. So that's a nice drifting. Plays it in brilliantly towards Dan Cockline, finds Motore, brings it back towards James Bailey, Bailey forward towards Flory Yuson, able to spin the defender and win the Islands this corner flag. Corner. Let's, let's find out. It is going to be a quick one, instead it's going to be to Ben Hoff, leaves it towards Motore, no you now, oh! Towards Oliver. And with Bennett now. Plays the ball across towards Ferguson. However, Liam Brockman gets his win. Takes him with a shot now. Saved by the goalkeeper. Oh, you saved by Luke Pullen. Brilliant double save by Luke Pullen there. Back towards Luke Pullen in goal. Pullen, first time clearance. Let's go towards. It stays in, in fact. Doesn't get towards Kaplan, but Kaplan brings a player down to and sees a free kick and he's going to get a yellow card unfortunately Kaplan surely he's brought down there referee says no FC United are able to get it counter attack opportunity now going Bill finds Aaron Bennett Aaron Bennett now puts inside his, on his right takes a shot blocked by Ben Hoff brilliantly Ryland's now plays the first try on start side but it is it was a three on two opportunity there for Ireland. Um, Lions will bring this flag up. Ben Hart, Ben Hart, that's what it's on the other way. Brock Hancock finds Chloe Newton. I thought the shot brought down there and it the wins the free kick for Ireland. But this one's going to be taken by James Bailey. Right foot, it's going to be on target. Oh! Zest. Aaron Bennett now, also dispossessed by Flory Newton. Ben Hoff, heavy touch, but tackle there by FC United. Aaron Bennett out wide, finds McLaughlin. McLaughlin now sprinting towards McPillan's 18 yard box, out wide towards Joe Ferguson. Liam Brockbank as well, but unfortunately, Joe Ferguson gets his body in the way and is able to win the free kick just cost of the penalty area. Keepers ready. McLaughlin to take. Ball clipped over, headed away by Dan Cockline. Well, a really brilliant goal there by FC United. It's Charlie Oliver, the first time Bowie goes straight into the top right corner to beat Luke Pillen. Luke Pillen still still, having no chance there. So, FC United in the lead. Oh. 
Sen de şimdi mutfaktan çıksa iki. Mutfaktan çıksa iki. Hadi de bay bay. Başmet. Mutfaktan. Fes tane doğru. Öğretmeni çıkıyor. Şuradan bir bak çıkıyor. Hadi bay. Uçayı açı aldım. Sıvın 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 sıvın. Sıvın 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 sıvın. And it's blown for half time. FC United won. Ryland nil. It's been an um, it's been a fair half, a quite an even half between the two sides. However, a fantastic strike from Charlie Oliver uh, um, after a set piece routine. Fired into the top right corner by the number five, and gives Warren um, gives FC United the, the lead so far. Seems able to kick Roger possession here. Ball forced to the right hand side, and yet again, Ryan's interception finds um, Liam Brockbank. Liam Brockbank ball in towards like Ben Hart, Stan Cockerline leads it. And ball there, surely. Free kick in the edge of the box there for the Islands. It's blown. James Bailey just taking his steps now, ready to take the um, free kick. Big chance opportunity now for Ryan's. It's just getting the kidney. Takes the shot, fired over, just skims the roof of the net. Again, Stratford. Yeah, doing so well. What? He did. Yeah, we did. No, do it. Come on. Finds Motore now, Motore. Wants to play it out wide, which he does. Short ball. Brilliant turn there by Phil Wilson, brought down, wins the foul and he's gonna also lead to a yellow card there for Guy Hall. They're looking to take the free kick. Jean Bailey crosses it in, big chance now. Yeah! There they are! Gary Linson gets the ball in, unfortunately it's flagged for the offside. There's a brilliant header. I was watching we're in line with the linesman. However, now the referee is having the word the linesman. The referee is having the word the linesman. It, now I'd I'd say I'd say James Neal was offside, however, it wasn't him who took the header, it was Flory Newton. And what a header it was. Surely something would be changed, come on. Go on, go on, go on. This flat right overturned the decision and our violence are equalising. Come on, the Blues. Throwing us from this first goal for Islands. So there's Florian Yosin there in the 57th minute. Yellow card there for James Bailey from the looks of things. Free kick here for FC United as tensions rise. So he's having another wedding manager. It doesn't look like he's getting the card out, but the FC United manager needs to keep blue to mind his mouth, otherwise he'll be getting a second yellow. Wilcock now unable to beat James Neal. James Neal brings down the player. And then there are scraps going on now between Lee and Brockbank and a few players. Absolute carnage now. A lot of things going on here. It's brought down the majority of Ireland's and FC United players over. So this isn't going to look good. I don't think. No, 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 no. Is, no. So, mo most likely a yellow card for James Hill at the very least after his challenge. However, it's the reaction, I think, it's between Liam Brockbank and an FC United player. Tussling's still going on, James Neal is still getting shoved. Both players on both sides were right on the pitch, thankfully. 
However, well, let's find out if Liam Blackburn's getting pulled over. So, yellow card there for Liam Blackburn. And a yellow car. It won't be yellow car for any FC United fans. The player, sorry. Drink it too much. Looking to put Joe Ferguson under pressure. Motley Tory now with the press. Tory continuing the press. FC United doing well to keep hold of the ball. But I don't know, we won't. Tory Yosem with the ball. Plays the ball forward towards Motley. Never do Tory. Never do Tory now. Flips it. Still with the ball. Take the shot. Goes in. Motley Tory. Absolutely, but in FC United ready to see things quickly. However, Ireland too much in celebration. Fantastic goal by Mowdy Tory, no? Plays it brilliantly towards Oliver. Oliver in towards Palinkas. First time ball out wide towards Joe Ferguson. Big chance now for FC United. FC United back towards McLaughlin. Beaten away by Dean Fairman. And the ball finds Aaron Bennett on the edge of the box. Aaron Bennett now. Puts the ball in, locked away. McLaughlin now takes the shot and it just goes past Luke Pillin. And it just cuts to away from the post. Violence. <laughs> and of course, that violence score from. So, ball crossed in. Shot is taken by Dan Cockerline, but it just gets past everyone and goes out for a goal kick. It's good, mate. We agree with them. They changed it. Ben Hoff now. Brilliant from Ben Hoff. Plays it out wide towards Mowdy Tore. Mowdy Tore now. Cross the ball and wins the corner. Apologies, that silence. He's stepping over the ball numerous times. I think he could do it. What a little toss there from Ben Hoff. Hands on head moment for the manager, the ball crossed in. And the falls in the arms of Luke Hillen. FC United fans are almost celebrating. My heart absolutely sank. We couldn't, we could just see bodies, we couldn't even see the ball. And the rem um, Luke Hillen stays down, most likely a collision, or oh, it possibly might be by in time. Regardless, a lot of bodies are in there, so I wouldn't be surprised if a few kicks went into the goalkeeper. Brian now on the right hand side, Brian plays it forward towards Ennis, Ennis flicks it onto Brian brilliantly, Brian now continues, gets closer, saved by Luke Pillin. so it's going to go out, is it going to go out, oh no no, in fact Brian's shot goes wide, FC United doing brilliantly now, Brian on the left, on the right hand side, completely on the mark, the ball on his left foot, header and it goes out, second chance now for FC United, Shots taken, saved by Pilling! So, where's it being exchanged there? A few pushes, but Brian won't be happy about whatsoever. now, long ball over the top, dispossessed by Liam Brockbank, and the final whistle's been blown, and the full-time result, Warrington Ireland 2, FC United 1, thank you guys so much for listening, as Ireland get their first win in the wild, thanks to goals from Florian Yosun, as well as Mermadou Torre.
Thank you guys so much for listening. Of course, we are away again next week against Bradford. So feel free to tune in again on Mixer for Frank and Alan's commentary. Thank you guys so much for listening. And of course, take it easy.